a quick tap in to remind you to not become like who has harmed you, to not allow the world to harden your heart. and to love your enemy. When we go through issues, experiences, traumas in our lives, and we are not willing to do the healing work, we will inevitably become like who has harmed us. And we don't even mean to. We are just acting out unhealed traumas and cycles we are existing in a in a world together and it's like one great big infirmary and a, a lot of people don't even know that they're sick so when you're doing the healing work it becomes your greatest service to humanity and to yourself and to anybody that's in your proximity because you haven't become like who has harmed you god has given you a beautiful heart and that heart is not meant to be hardened. That heart is meant to be strong and resilient and wise and tapped in. And that heart is meant to also be compassionate. Like don't take any shit seriously, but, but stay compassionate. Because compassion, it will allow you to hear others and really hear them from your heart center. And it allows you to stay compassionate towards yourself because you cannot give others what you don't have. And loving your enemy, why not? You can hate what they've done. You can hate how they've acted and the ways in which they show up. Everybody needs love. And sometimes love looks like, I don't fuck with you. Sometimes love looks like, you stay over there, sir, ma'am. <laughs> but sometimes love looks like, yo, I'm not gonna lash out at you. I'm not gonna one up you. I'm not gonna become like who's harmed you. I'm going to stay in the frequency of love. Keep your hearts, my beautiful souls. Keep your spirit aligned to God. Keep compassion in your heart and stay who you are. If you are a beautiful person, be that because that's the greatest gift to the collective and to yourself. And don't let anyone take that away from you. Call all your power back and in exchange, give them love. All right?